So hello again and welcome to another basic survival tip. This I consider one of the most, um, the first things you want to learn here are these um, layout tips. Makes a difference. So survivor tip number three, free your dashboards from Excel. In other words, although the dashboards are in Excel and we love how uh, things are nice, nicely lined up in cells and rows and columns, very structured, very organized, a dashboard is more about a visual experience. It shouldn't really be confined in those little rows and cells that come from Excel. And as long as they're in the background, they kind of, you know, just distract you from your dashboard. So we want to get rid of those. So how do we do that? So we get some data, of course, need to do a dashboard. This is some information on doctors and businesses. Uh, one of my students was interested in how things look in the medical profession. So we just were playing around, came up with this weird looking dashboard. We got a little bit carried away with colors, but that's not to worry about. We'll talk about color uh, slicers in another video. Good to know. And now we want to sort of say, how can we make this look a little bit like it's not Excel? Don't need these grids in the background. So very simply, let's go up to the view menu. We were here at home, move over to the view and just unclick these three. You don't need all those things in the background while you're working in a dashboard. So now it looks a little bit cleaner, but there is one other thing I always do before I turn those things off. So let's turn them back on because you need to do that in other, but everything is jammed over here in the corner, like a good spreadsheet. Well, this is not a spreadsheet. So let's insert a row or sorry, a column. Now the dashboard is over here. Now you can either, you know, you can adjust it and move it around again, just to fit the uh, screen size. And then let's turn off these items. Now it looks better. Um, you've gotten the dashboard a little bit more centered, got rid of those rows and columns. Now this is a pretty basic thing to do, but it really, um, if I see a dashboard that's well constructed, but they still have those rows and columns, it's kind of a downer a bit. So get rid of them. You don't need them. So remember this survivor tip, um, number three, free your dashboards from cell Excel. So always turn off the grids and those bars, etc., and always add a column on the left. It's not, um, I can't think of any time I wouldn't do that. It's all about the aesthetics and the visuals. So hope this will help. Um, just keep these survivor tips in mind. They'll always be handy. Cheers.